President McKinnon, Dean, colleagues and cabinet, officials from the University of Worship, Mayor Addison, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be on campus this morning. Uh, I have found myself here uh, lately a lot over the last number of weeks. Uh, we're moving in our oldest, uh, and she's settling in as a student here at the University of Saskatchewan. So I've had great fun just back on campus and going to the admin building and helping her pay her tuition, which she's saved for. Uh, going to the to the bookstore and grabbing some books and maybe a Husky football hat that was also there. And, uh, we had, I actually toured her around the EPRA as well and showed her where I lived for three years at SAS Hall. We actually went into SAS Hall. It's, it's co-ed now. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't co-ed when I was here. I didn't need any more distractions in my academic career such as it was, but it's a, it's a wonderful day to be here, uh, to, here on, to be here on campus. I just want to say, before I, I, I continue with some, some very brief remarks, I want to say this. I have determined that on every occasion when I have a chance at a microphone and the president is in the audience, from now until next June, I guess, or thereabouts, lest we can talk him out of things or into things, perhaps, I have determined to, uh, to say thank you. Uh, we have been mightily served in this province, in this city, and at this institution by the visionary leadership of President Peter McKinnon. So much has happened on this campus in almost every facet of the life of this institution, here and around the province, because of your leadership, sir. Uh, and we, uh, we're indebted to you for that. Thank you very, very much. You know, politicians can be prone to hyperbole, rhetoric even, at times. But it is not hyperbole to say this morning that those who will pass through this beautiful archway, and by the way, thanks to the University of Saskatchewan for insisting uh, on, on this kind of architecture and this treatment of this facility, which will uh, stand in good stead for, for decades to come. But it's not hyperbole this morning to recognize the fact that life savers and life changers will pass through this archway. That groundbreaking medical life-saving research will happen not just because of the facility, obviously, but because of those who will be able to attend here and be trained here. That's what we're remarking today. On behalf of the university, on behalf of all of its partners, on behalf of our government and a previous administration that began uh, the project as well. Not very long ago, the future of the College of Medicine was of great concern for an entire province. It wasn't too long ago, ladies and gentlemen, that we, there was real, real concern. What a different day it is today. What an important development we mark in the life of a venerable institution, now integrated, now with a new approach to training healthcare providers for our province for years to come. Not very long ago, just about four years ago, in fact, I stood near here and we had a press conference and we talked about the need for, for 800 new nurses. It was about four years ago. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are now 840 new nurses four years later that are practicing. We talked about the need for new training seats. And we know that there are now about 40 new undergraduate medical training seats. And we talked about the need for 60 new residency positions. And We'll achieve that as well. We talked about the need to address healthcare worker shortages. And you know what? Together with the institution here and, and SIAST and other important post-secondary partners around the province and the professions themselves, we've been able to achieve those targets. But what good would it be if we didn't have the very finest facility we could possibly offer to provide for them for their training? So that's what we celebrate today. There's a lot of numbers. Some have been mentioned already. The largest capital project on campus and all of the students that will come through here, but today is about health care. The health care of the province of Saskatchewan for today and for tomorrow and for years to come. And on behalf of the government of Saskatchewan, on behalf of the province, and those of us who are fortunate enough to serve at this time, we say thank you to the university, 
to all of the partners of the university, uh, and we warmly, warmly welcome the opportunity to celebrate such a special day. Good morning.